So what's up guys? Um, it's your boy Lupito over here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So um, in this video, um, I'm gonna take you along again on another hour shift, and this time around I'm working in Pete's. So I'm gonna show you around, you know, um, around you know how we function in a Pete's hospital and how we do things in pediatrics. And then I'm gonna explain a few things, you know, a few requests that um, I got in the comment section in the previous video that I did for internal medicine. And then, yeah, um, so I'll see you later once I get to the hospital. It's 8 a.m. in the morning, I'm running late. So uh, I'll check you later once I get to the hospital and then I support you. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna check in the key. And then as you can see, I've got my sanitizer, my headsets when I'm clicking and whatever. But um, yeah, I'll check you later. So yeah, peace. So I am currently working with um, respiratory infections. And yeah, that is why you see actually that I'm dressed up like this. So yeah, I'm going to be working with these cases until maybe today, later in the afternoon around 4 p.m. And then from 4, I'll have to go downstairs to the ED so that I stay there until the following day. But yeah, I'll be going up and down, you know, to the wards and um, down in the emergency department and see, you know, how everything goes. But yeah, I'll update you later. And just like how I said earlier, I'm going to also talk about some of the things or requests that I got in the comment section on my previous video when I was in internal medicine. And then I'm going to go through all those things. And then, yeah, um, like I said, I'm in beats, so I'll check you later. So, yeah, doodles. So, yeah, um, I uh, assessed the patients in the morning. I checked all the babies. And this morning, um, we had the lab to come up to do some lab work to see if, um, you know, just to, to do, a, you know, once again to do a checkup on the kids, you know, lab wise to see if there's anything wrong. We had to do the blood work and stuff to see if there's something wrong or stuff before um, they get released from the hospital. So, yeah, now before they get discharged, we are gonna do that and see if everything is fine. So, if everything is fine, um, I'm gonna be preparing the, the paperwork for them to get discharged, maybe, uh, I don't know, today, tomorrow, uh, once the lab work results come back. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that now, and then later on, I'm gonna check in with you guys again. Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna get busy with all this work. And the kids are actually nice because, you know, I love working with kids, uh, but it's not really something that I am willing to specialize in or to do because, I can't stand um, seeing kids suffering and I can't really stand, you know, just working with kids, you know, them seeing them sick make me sick in a way, you know, because I'm an empath, you know, and you know, empaths, we always try to feel what the next person is feeling and we always try to put ourselves in that person's place to see and, and we experience what they are going through, you know. Some mothers have two, three kids, you know, they are single mothers and they have to do everything. And sometimes they even admit all the kids at once because there's nobody at home take, to take care of the other kids. But, you know, the good thing about, you know, the Cuban families is that um, they are together, like they are so united. So they try to work together, you know, the grandparents, the uncles, the aunts. The cousins they always come together and they take care of the family as one even you know with single parents because i have seen single parent mothers single parent fathers and they always team up to work as, uh, as a team so yeah i'm gonna be doing that and later on i'll check in with you guys when i'm gonna assess the patients um during midday and then yeah like how i said i'm working with um upper respiratory tract infections you know in kids mostly in infants and in toddlers because most of them are between the ages of zero to five so yeah um i'm gonna be doing that and then later on i'll update you guys how the day is going and stuff so yeah i'll see you guys later 
And yeah, um, I'm wearing this just for protection wise. I wash my, they, you know, force you to wash your hands because it's protocol. Every single time you touch a baby, just like how everywhere else, you know, you do that. And yeah, sometimes, you know, they even force you to wear gloves because it's kids. And yeah, you always have to protect yourself and at the same time you have to protect the kids because at the end of the day, you can catch even a common cold or whatever it is from these kids. So you cannot be, you know, out here without protecting yourself and stuff. So yeah, let me not get into the, the nits and bits of, you know, feeds and stuff. But um, basically, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, and another thing is that, you know, um, with Pete's patients or with Pete's cases, you need to be very careful because especially with infections and stuff, they have or they can have a fever at any time of the day and you need to be there to make sure that they administer like the nurses administer the correct dosage of an uh, 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 of medication like an antipyretic or uh, whatever medication that they're gonna give to calm down the fever so yeah so um yeah that's it i'll check you guys later i'm gonna also be like now how i was saying i'm gonna be dealing now with those kids that have fever right now while at the same time i'm working on those so i'm gonna possibly get discharged depending on the blood work and stuff so yeah i'll check you guys later so see you lunch yet I'm still waiting for my other friends to come because they're working in the other ones I am here and I was just told that I'm gonna stay here for the rest of the day because I'm on call today so 
they said that I'm gonna stay here for 24 hours so I'm gonna check if um, one of my friends can fill in for me so that I can go have something to eat and then yeah but yeah um, we are here I'm still clacking I'm still clacking so once I'm done well that's when I'm gonna eat so yeah Anyhow, I'm exhausted right now because it's writing and writing and writing and you don't finish but yeah I'll check you guys a little bit later and then we'll see when how it goes from there I just had a new patient who entered right now actually and I have to do the paperwork so I'm gonna get busy with that and then I'll see how it goes so I'll check you later guys and yeah I'll see how what time I'm gonna have lunch or dinner or whatever to call it but at this point <laughs> I'm exhausted I even just want to give up right now because <laughs> it's a lot of writing you know and one of my one of my pens actually they finished because I have three pens I have three pens um, the one in the middle is done this one is almost done and this one is a little bit you know but yeah they are all almost done I need to get new pens I'll tell my friend maybe to bring a few more but yeah so I'll see you guys later maybe after I've eaten something maybe I will be a lot more animated by then once I feel my tummy to maybe try and finish up with all this so yeah Check you guys later. So my friend just brought me food, and then the other one also brought me food. So now I am eating double food. It's actually a bit late. Um, it's around close to five o'clock now. That is the time I'm having lunch, dinner-ish. So since they brought me more food, <laughs> I'm gonna eat the other food later. So yeah, this is some juice thingy, or I don't know. I know it's in a latte cup, but yeah, it's uh, something like that. So yeah, I'm drinking this, and then I just finished eating the food, and then I'm gonna continue later with everything. So yeah, I'm really exhausted. Um, later on. I'm gonna switch with one of my um, colleagues that are also on night shift with me so that I can at least go rest a bit and then come back later so yeah that's what's gonna happen so I'm gonna continue with the paperwork once I'm done and, and the problem is they just keep on admitting patients like patient after patient after patient it's too much <laughs> You know what you signed up for. Oops. You know what you signed up for. Um, but yeah, that is what's up. Um, I'm just gonna go back and then I'll highlight you guys later. So yeah. What's up, guys? Um, so right now I am in casualty. I. It's actually 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm still. You know, I went to go change. So I changed now so i'm gonna stay here until morning time uh, but yeah everything is going well so far you, as you can see i'm actually outside i'm in casualty i'm not in the ward anymore so <clears throat> i'm so sorry um a little bit earlier i said that i was gonna talk about a few things or a few requests that i received in the comment section of the previous video but i think i'm just gonna do a separate video completely because uh, the request was to talk about you know medical school life how to apply to medical school in cuba and stuff like that but i feel like it's better i do a separate video on that and then i'll let you guys know uh maybe i'll upload it after a week or two weeks i'm not sure i'm not gonna promise anything but yeah i'm gonna shoot a separate video on that and then i'll let you guys know so right now it's a little bit chilled you know in the AMs, because it's 3 a.m. in the morning, in the AMs it's always chilled. 
there are not as many patients like how you guys saw you know during the day are so busy in the ward and stuff but when I got down to the ED you know to casualty it was a bit chilled you know because I got down I came down at 12 a.m. in the morning because you know the wards were fine so if there's anything happening they will call us and then we'll go up but so far they haven't called us yet but yeah so um just that and uh i'll see when to release the videos you know depending i mean on the requests uh, that people put in the comment sections of the previous medical video that i did which was when i was in internal medicine so i'm gonna do a completely separate video on that and then i'll let you guys know um when i'm gonna release it so if you want you can check my socials maybe i'll put uh, up the 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 link there once that video is out and then i'll let you guys know but for now um i'm gonna see and i'm gonna you know think about it think about uh, what to talk about because the person actually requested for a few you know not a few but you know specific things about what to talk about and stuff so yeah i'll have to 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 sit and talk about it properly because it has to be done properly oh so, yeah so yeah since i'm in casualty and there are no patients i'm outside i had to look for the perfect lighting you know some good lighting for you guys to be <laughs> able to see me because it's night time not night time but it's morning hours but it's dark outside so yeah so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for supporting the channel thank you for watching until this point uh, keep watching the videos I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna release any other medical video because uh, you know I mean I I don't know maybe maybe not I'll see how things go but yeah the next videos that I'm gonna do that are probably medical they're gonna be monologues uh, including the requests that I received in the comment sections on the previous video and then yeah i hope you guys also watch those videos once they are out and i hope you guys also like comment share and sub subscribe onto this video and try to also watch my previous videos and just to get those views up so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and i'll see you guys next time you see me wearing scraps so yeah ciao